Hello YouTube, Rick Dill here for a continuing series of my collection. This will be part 9 of 20, maybe 21, depending if I get more cubes. So, um, we're going to go ahead and start off. Most of this on uh, this shelf is this most of the things that I made myself. Most of them are mods or sticker mods. You can just re took off the stickers and restickered them. Some bandage cubes and stuff like that. So this is one, um, I believe now they call this like a pineapple cube. And what it is is just a regular 3x3 three three with the corners cut off. Boom, boom, boom. You can still see where I cut off the corners. And then added some more cubies in the other places. And then turn it to that. I have a regular Pyraminx. And I got another Pyraminx, a couple of them I think. And then cut off the corners and then use those and glue them on in different places and there you have that one. In my Lego Tartan cube and I, what I did again just took off these Lego pieces and like I couldn't find one by one of every color so what I had to do, I forget what color I, it was, I was green I think because I didn't have the one by one and the blues so I had to actually cut each one of those in half so I can able to put them on complete this puzzle. It took me longer than expected. I didn't realize that they didn't have one by one a certain color. At least I couldn't find any on eBay and other places I looked on the internet. Here's the bandage cube. The big old chunk right there. So constricts a lot of the movements. Another different bandage cube. Some they're all bandaged together, some just one, some with none. And another bandage cube, different from the others. Again, some movements are possible and then again some movements are not possible. I can't turn those down because obviously of that. Have these cubes where all the arrows was pointing in uh, different directions, and this was basically a three by three because so all, all you got to do is go by colors instead of the arrows. But these other two, I forget they have a certain name for these. I forget the name of them. But anyway, just follow the arrows, and of course, of course, you're gonna make probably get a parity with the one in the center, and just a simple algorithm will fix those in those cases. My truncated cubes, half truncated cubes. These are the ones that are made, made from regular 3x3s. And what I did is cut parts off and then filled them in and sanded them. I mean, and restickered them. This is my first one, I believe. I did. And then this was my second one. They both came out okay. Made those a long time ago. My hexagonal die pyramid. Again, ready from regular 3x3. Three three. Just, you can see the 3x3. Three three. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just cut it a certain way, re-sticker it. And again, it just solves like a regular 3x3. Three three. Um, re-stickered 3x3 three three with opposite corner colors on the left side. Green red, green red. I know it should have been what? Green blue, green yellow. But let's make it different. This is like the ultimate cube, but 4x4 four four edition. Very, very loose. Very smooth. Also got a barrel cube. Now they actually made these wonderful poster they did. I don't think Rubik's ever did, but just to cut off the corners whoosh, all the way down, and you get your octagonal barrel. Again, you will have to fill it in and sticker it. I had to cut the stickers myself. Yeah, another bandage cube, four by four bandage this time. Very few movements on that one. And they call this the wall cube, like a brick wall. That looks like a brick wall. Mm 
another truncated cube. This is a regular Rubik's cube. Just cut off half the top, cut off half the bottom, and there you go. My tile poker cube. Just took all the stickers off and had some poker tiles and just glued them on. 52 cards, I mean, and two jokers make up all 54 uh, squares. Uh, a pillow cube, or sometimes called a UFO cube. Went ahead and again, this is from a regular 3x3. Just made cuts in the right areas, and there it is. You can see a 3x3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just make different cuts. A um, square one, kind of, but turned. So instead of looking like that, I kind of just turned it and then restickered it. See, could look like that, but now it looks weird. Another truncated one, but this is a um, truncated um, mirror cube. Ramp cube. Made a couple of cuts and then one, oh, one cut, I think. Three. And cut that corner off and then glue those on. You can't see those don't move by themselves. So these two. One, two, three, and then those are glued on. Ouch! My pin cube! I went ahead, this was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I went ahead and tried to put pins on it, then I couldn't get it, so I had to put one in there in the center, and it's okay, this is not too bad. But then in some places, it's hard to do a little hole right in the exact center. So I had to put a little hole in the center, and then put a pin through it. And it's making solving a little painful. Another bandage cube. Fuse cube. Siamese cube. I forget what this one's called. It's been a long time since I made this one. Pom pom fuzzy ball cube. All I did was just get colored. Like the root cube and then went ahead and just glued the pom pom on there. And you can see the sticker. So. Blue went with blue, mm. red went with red, orange, orange. Elongated um, missing link. Just added an extra link in there. So I said if I can add one, and then I can take some away. So this is one where I took one link away. And then here's one where I took two links away. Hard to solve. You can see, I haven't even solved it yet. I messed it up. Another bandage cube. House. Made a little house cube. Did cut it off. Except for that one. And put that one back on. Has little stickers. Cut. Like a little chimney, windows. Uh, two by two. I just threw on some washers so they can maybe like a blind cube. Somebody with blind or something, they can actually just feel the sizes of them and solve it. A gravel um, cube. Sticker gravel cube. Here's a tile gravel cube. Some of my tiles just came off when I was putting them in the box. Anyway. So there it is. This is now uh, exactly a real one because it's supposed to be coming more. This is the first one I made. Word going up and down, and I didn't realize that that, that, that there were just words going across. So wait and wild, sit on a tag. So I just made silly things, silly things. A four by four bandage cube. Another sticker mod. Just abstract. 
a two by two keyboard cube. Well, not really a keyboard. What a cube? <laughs> Another uh, truncated cube. Let's cut the corners off. Turn it over. Same thing. And then restickered it. I filled it in. And restickered it. A two by two dice cube. Just put different color dice. Another truncated cube, just truncated differently, more severely, I guess. Again, made from a regular 3x3. Three 1, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Another bandage cube. Again, different from some of the others. Pyramid cube. Went ahead and traded pieces out for a pyraminx, a pillow pyraminx, and then a cube. Got that. So the short version of this, so I just took the short pieces off of here for that one, I put it up the long ones on and just switched the pieces. That was it. Mm, three colors. Cube. Four by four barrel cube. That one needs to be lubed. A 4x4 sticker, just a different stickers of the little books. This is my first barrel cube that I made. It's not the greatest. And I messed it up and haven't solved it. This is what I call my anti-void cube. I went ahead and got a cube and took all the stickers off, painted it, and then, well, cleaned it out first, I think. Tried it with a little Dremel as much as I could, as smooth as I could. Not very nice, you can see it's pretty jagged. But again, it was my first try. I want to from a regular Rubik's. You can see Rubik's there. Here's my other pyramid cube. Pyramid, uh, pillow pyramid one. Uh, the pieces that I traded, like I showed you earlier. Where it here is. And this is just the inverse of it. Got those pieces. From the rest of this. And then traced them out. My 3x3 keyboard cube. My um, staircase cube, cornerless three by three. This is my Rubik's head that I made from the Rubik's uh, Star Wars cubes. Got a mummy and a zombie. I wanted to make a werewolf, but I just haven't had time. Another truncated cube from a three by three, which turned it into a three by two by three. Uh, bandage, another bandage one, and yet another bandage differently. I call my punk cube or pierce cube. We got little piercings, and I put them and put them in different places, and they're kind of like a bandage too because things are bandaged, so the certain movements are restricted. Cube with different color rows, different color rows on each side. I forget what this one's called, but I saw a picture of one. So I can do that. So I went ahead and just glued, took the corners off, and then glued extra cubies on the sides. Say so there's a three right there, and then the corners. I cut all the corners off and then glued these cubies on the side. <sighs> Another bandage four by four. My one by ones, a two by two, truncated two by two. My mini barrel cube, my mini whip it. I went ahead and cut off a layer. It was three layers. Now it's two layers. My fuse trio triplets, and my twins, and my single guy, I guess. But this one's also been bandaged. It's at one corner. Um, a little house cube. I had it shaped just different ways. That's pretty neat. My little uh, three by three Scrabble cube. Uh, another bandage cube. Four by four. This is a five by five bandage cube. See another barrel cube that I made. 
No, two by two. And the bandage? Yeah, a little bandage two by two. Like that one bandage right there. And tartan sticker cube. Like a tartan cube is just uh, little dot stickers instead. My whip it, ten layer whip it. So it all rolls, ten layers. And then you gotta, it's got super whip it because you gotta give them the right rolls. Which is not really hard either, but anyway. There's one like a little one I just showed you. Bandage in the corner right there. Little brother. Like a tartan key, but this is a tartan pyramid. Eyeball cube. Little bitty eyeballs. Two, three, six. Oh, oh looks like that one came off. It must be in the box somewhere. I forget what this is supposed to be called. I saw it online somewhere. On eBay or uh, twistypuzzle.com. Those numbers have some significance. I forget when I made it. Another one is a seven layer one. I had a ten layer. I want to show you but this is a seven layer one. I made that one first. Then I said, right, keep on going, make a ten layer. Make a minus one cube. Get all these dice and just move them around. To get what you need to get. A little super whip it. Then you gotta put them in the right order, so that way they'll connect the uh, the circles. Also, this one I don't know what I was doing there. I started carving the centers, and I just stopped, and I said, yeah, it doesn't look too bad." So went ahead and kept it like that. Another minus one. This is kind of loose. The box doesn't really fit, but same thing. You turn around, try to get all the numbers match up on all the sides. Here's a, another puzzle that I made where you have six different colors on four sides and you know, the idea is to get all the different colors on all the sides. So make sure that every side has all six different colors. Um, another two by two. I don't get what this one's supposed to do. But that's it. Basically made out of Legos. Fuse cube or semi cube. Oh, missing a sticker now. Haven't looked at these in a long time. They've been on my shelf. The more sticker mods. These are a little bit different. See how those match up. Those don't match up. And that one has two solids. Um, this was some kind of crazy cube that I made. Turn some ways. Mm, I forget exactly how this one moves, but anyway.